when you have a history as rich and diverse as BMWs, there are a myriad of models that jump to mind when you think of revolutionary cars. These are cars that mark a dramatic change in direction for the brand, whether that's from a styling, engineering, or technological point of view. And today we're here to look at one of those cars, a car that I firmly believe will be looked back on in the future as a revolutionary vehicle for the brand. I'm Tom, welcome to Cotswold BMW, and welcome to the BMW i7. Now this generation of 7 Series represents the new era of luxury, epitomising the meaning of quality, comfort and refinement. Now in 1977 we saw the first BMW 7 Series join the BMW model lineup. Since then it has truly been the pioneer of our range, sitting right at the top of the BMW tree, it epitomises our luxury range. So let's talk about trim levels then. Well all i7s in the UK are i7 xDrive 60s, you can then have an excellence an Excellence Pro, an M Sport, or an M Sport Pro. This particular car is an i7 xDrive 60 M Sport Pro. Right then, so let's talk about performance before we move on to the exterior design of the car. We have an iX xDrive 60 here, so 544 horsepower, 745 newton meters of torque, an electric range of up to 387 miles, and 0 to 60 in just 4.7 seconds. So let's have a look at some of the details then. Well, we've got 21 inch wheels, front and rear, Really strong swage line, I really hope you can see this running through. So it starts at the front headlight here, runs right the way up the length of the car from the corner of the front headlight to the corner of the rear LEDs. On the subject of these LEDs, A, they look fantastic, but also this kind of triangular pattern here has then been mirrored on the rear window. That's a nice little touch. Also on that rear window, we have the Hofmeister kink returning, a staple of BMW design. Our i7 badging at the back is in this gray, and then being an M Sport Pro car, it's M Sport trim, so we have this diffuser giving a sporty element to the vehicle, and our BMW logo is surrounded by that blue accent, as it is, after all, an iCar. We've got flush door handles, they look fantastic, feel great to use as well, and just contribute to the overall sleek aesthetic. On the front, the kidney grille, always a talking point of these new generation of BMWs, follows through from the history and heritage models we have, and it continues with that design language of our luxury vehicles today. You might be looking at the grill and thinking, what on earth is that square in the middle? That is the radar sensors for the driving assistance systems, as this car can support up to level three autonomous driving. So that's an overview of the exterior for you. I'm sure we can both agree the car looks great, but it's inside that the biggest advancements have been made, and it's unlike anything you've seen from BMW before. Join me inside, let's take a look. Now, traveling in an i7 is an experience designed around space, comfort, and privacy, tailored for our most discerning customers. Now, the interior of the i7 is where it really shines, focusing on passenger comfort and technology. As I've previously mentioned, the interior of the i7 is bigger than previous 7 Series generations, and seat comfort has been improved. And you'll have to take it from me, these seats are absolutely incredible, and they're finished here in individual smoke white. Whether you're in the front here or in the back, which we'll get to, the i7 is an incredible place to be. Now inside, a seamless integration of elegant design and technology dominates the cabin. It's a warm and inviting space that utilizes impeccable natural materials, such as options of cashmere wool and this lovely merino leather. Now, despite the incredible amount of technology in this car, BMW have used a shy tech approach. And what that means is they've reduced the number of physical buttons without us losing any functionality. Now in the front of the car, you'll find BMW's latest curved display using operating system eight, offering a seamless bridge between your digital life and your car. Alongside this running below, you can see that beautiful new interaction bar that combines the ambient light and air conditioning controls into a single piece of aesthetic design, adding to the incredible sense of luxury in the vehicle. Within this interaction bar, you have those Shytech features. On the doors, your door controls are above, but your memory settings are integrated as touch points, as is your seat ventilation or movement, as is the door lock and unlock. The Shytech continues throughout the rest of the cabin, particularly in the area where you control your iDrive screen. So we still have an iDrive control wheel, 
and then touch points around it for controlling your navigation, telephone and your media. Although they are touch buttons, they do have haptic feedback, so you can tell when you have used a button. You've got other shy tech around for your driving modes, for your parking sensors, and then we have our gear selector here. So the new design of gear selector we're seeing in the latest generation of BMW models. It's a really beautiful steering wheel in this car, unique to this i7. It follows a similar style to the iX, if you have seen that car, that it's polygonal and has a flat bottom, but I think it looks absolutely brilliant and ties in with the luxury feel of the vehicle. Touch buttons continue on the wheel, again with haptic feedback, and the wheel does have electric operation for adjustment. There's a smartphone charging tray at the front of the cabin, and then two cup holders covered really beautifully with these nice sliding mechanisms. Now this shy tech throughout the cabin is so impressive because at first glance it seems very minimal, but actually I have everything I need and everything I'd normally control just a touch away. This panoramic sunroof up on my head, that's part of the M Sport Pro Pack, brings so much light into the cabin and extends all the way to the rear. So let's jump in the back because that's where the party piece of this i7 is and let's take a look. Now it's from the rear of the i7, you get a driving passenger experience like nothing I have ever seen before. It just epitomizes luxury. We have our ambient lighting coming through, the beautiful wood trim that was on the front dash, that carries through. But this car's fitted with a rear seat comfort package. So we have heated seats, ventilated seats. We've then got massage seats in the rear as well. Built into the doors, we have these touchscreen, almost phone-esque devices. That's for controlling all of our operations in the rear. So when I unlock this, I can do my climate, I can do my seat adjustments. We have blinds in both rear windows and the rear screen that can come up. I can do everything from this menu. Now on the subject of those modes, if I press into my modes here, it comes up with a list. And depending on how I'm feeling on the day, I can adjust the whole cabin ambiance with one touch. At the moment, we're on just my personal setting, as I've got it set up for the car. I can move this into relax if I want to, at which point the blinds go up, the visor on the Sky Lounge panoramic sunroof closes, the colour of the ambient lighting changes, you'll see that on that front bar running across the dash, and it's suddenly a more relaxing place to be. In turn, I can change this up. I can press expressive if I want, and that will adjust the lighting level, and it also changes the active sound that these cars make. So being an electric car, we have no engine mode, but there is noise that comes into the cabin. These have been designed specifically for the car, and these will adjust with these different modes. But there's one mode that is better than any other, and that is theater mode. Watch this. My seat reclines. If the blinds weren't already up, they'll go up now. And now the 31 inch BMW theater screen is in operation. This has a built-in Fire TV stick. It uses uh, an external SIM, so you use your own data plan. You put it in a reader and then that transpires over to the car. So once my theater screen has loaded up, I can press Fire TV over here on my control pad and we have a widescreen in front of me. Truly like no car I've ever seen. It is a cinema experience on wheels. This screen as well is touchscreen, so I can dismiss notifications if I need to, or I can control it through the display in the door where I have this digital Fire TV stick controller. So if I want to, I can head on to YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever I fancy, and watch it on the go. Sound-wise, we can either have it Bluetooth through headphones if you want to, or through the absolutely phenomenal Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System, giving me 4D audio. So I can sit back, relax, and put on my favorite content, all from the comfort of the rear of this i7. I can choose where my sound comes from, as I said. So on here, I can select my screen, my audio, into speakers. I can adjust volume from my display here. And then if I want to make use of that 31 inch widescreen, simply press display, move it over to 21.9. You can go all the way up to 32.9. Or if you want to keep films in 16.9, you absolutely can. You simply switch on the screen there. When I'm ready to watch, I can sit back and enjoy. So what else can I do with my theater screen when I'm finished watching some 
truly fantastic content. Well, I'm gonna press my home button here and back we go. And it's your usual Amazon Fire Stick functionality. We've got Netflix on there, Prime Video, ITV Hub, anything you desire to watch on the go. Now this screen up here, obviously it's fixed to the ceiling, but we do have some adjustments. So I can go in onto my display settings here. Again, using my controller, and I can adjust the angle that the screen is facing me. I can bring it towards me if you want that full up close cinema experience. And truly when I'm sat here with this screen in front of me, I can barely see out of the front of the car. It's so immersive. So with the blinds up, the panoramic sunroof closed, it really is a cinema on wheels. And then when I'm finished with my theater screen for the day, I can simply go into my display settings, fold the screen, and away it goes, tucks up against the roof line of the car. I then have my control panel here that if I want to bring the blinds back down, I can, nice and easy, back to the home, go into blinds, select which ones I want to control because you can control them individually. I can lower the rear if I want to, or I can just press open all, and there we go. The cabin goes from being this dark, cosseted cinema experience to a light, airy, spacious place to be. So we've covered the climate menus, everything we can control from back here. But on the subject of the Fire TV Stick and YouTube, for the first time in an i7, both front driver and passenger can enjoy YouTube streamed to the front display as well. Obviously not when you're driving, it's only when you are stationary. However, it's a function we haven't seen able to be done on BMWs in the past. So if you are waiting in the vehicle, you can operate YouTube from the front as well. That Fire TV functionality comes through. Right then, I'm gonna use my Shytec button down here. I'm gonna get out and leave you to enjoy some of the features of this incredible vehicle. So there we are, that is a quick overview for you of the BMW i7, BMW's latest expression of what modern luxury can mean. Combining two axle air suspension, a private cinema, the latest generation of in-car technology, 544 horsepower, this is one of the most deeply impressive cars I've ever had the pleasure of spending some time with, and I can't think of anything I've spent time in that can do as many things as well as the i7. So, in all honesty, you need to experience it. So what I'm gonna do is drop a couple of links down below for you so you can experience the tech specs, have a look through charging rates, etc. Have a look through all of the specification options available. This is quite a well-optioned car, but there are so many other options available, as well as the whole other excellence trim. So take a look at that, configure one on our configurator if you'd like to. So head over to cotswoldcheltenhambmw.co.uk or cotswoldherefordbmw.co.uk to get to grips with the i7. If you would like to experience one in the flesh, please do let us know. We'd be delighted to set up a personal presentation for you. Please give us a call for Cotswold Hereford on 01432 375 555 or Cotswold Cheltenham on 01242 335 335. We'd be delighted to show you the car. I'll leave you with some incredible exterior shots and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.